All right, so I'm not gonna make another 40 minutes video and I'm also not gonna make a five parts video tutorial. I'm just gonna show you the main idea um, of how I'm going to convert uh, this base behind me into fretless. So if you wanna get more details and walk through the whole process, uh, you can click the link below me and it will get you into my blog and everything is there. So let's start. I got this ESP LTD jazz bass and I must say that for a low kind of medium budget guitar it has an amazing build quality and it actually sounds pretty good as well. Um, for filling the fret gaps I'm gonna use the wood filler method. I think it's the second most popular method right after the veneer method. Uh, using veneer it's probably the best but I like the wood filler honestly because it's much easier and uh, it works just fine for me. So I removed the frets using the soldering iron technique just to melt down any possible glue that can be underneath the frets and I easily pulled out the frets using a plier. I would recommend you to use a better plier. Um, then right after removing the frets I used a sharp knife um, to make a smoother gap in the slits uh, for the wood filler to come in. This is the first sanding stage, uh, just to smooth the surface. I'm sanding with a very soft pressure and with the direction of the grains because I don't want to affect the fretboard angle. Uh, I always double check if the fretboard is perfectly level. Okay, uh, now applying the wood filler and there's never too much when using a wood filler. I prefer to have too much on the fretboard um, rather than not enough right after the final sanding. So I make sure that I put a lot of wood filler. Okay, right after I'm done with filling the slits and cleaning any excess wood filler, I'm removing the nut and sanding it on a flat surface uh, because without frets we can now lower the action of the strings and it will sound better and actually it will, it will feel better when playing. And I'm just using a simple super glue to put back the knot. I let it dry overnight. I know that a lot of wood fillers are supposed to dry in four to five hours, something like that. But this is going to hold up in a very heavy string tension. So I'm not taking any risks here and I let it dry until morning. Okay, this is how it looks in the morning after, so it's beautiful and it's ready for the final sanding. The final sanding is uh, for level the fingerboard. Again, I'm using soft pressure and always checking for bumps. Here's another way for sanding with more pressure and not affecting the fingerboard angle. So it's a bit slower, but it's very good. Now cleaning the dust before applying lemon oil. Last part before set up the base, I'm applying lemon oil. If you're gonna make a fretless with maple fingerboard, don't put lemon oil, it will ruin the wood. Uh, the oil is protecting the wood, making it smoother to play, and it also gives the wood better look. And now after swiping all the excess, all the excess oil, it's setup time and uh, testing the base, actually. And that's it. Now let's hear a demo of the fretless.
Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and make sure you click the link below. Uh, you can find more details about this project uh, in my blog, tunefamilia.com and see you next video. Bye-bye.